A lot of people would say that Skyrim is not necessarily a hard game, but have you tried playing it on Legendary difficulty? If not, then I welcome you to Skyrim Legendary difficulty, where you cannot do anything, where enemies one-shot you and you deal absolutely zero damage to them. So what really is different in Legendary difficulty? Well, for one, the enemies deal three times more damage than they previously did. And you only deal a quarter of the damage that you previously dealt, so that's not very fair. So now, how are we going to combat this? What can we do to actually make things fair on us? And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, not much, actually. There isn't a lot that we can do. So, what are we gonna do in this video? Well, I wanna see how hard it is to go from Helgen to Riverwood, complete Bleak Falls Barrow, and then deliver the Dragonstone to Whiterun. Will this be possible? Will we quit halfway through because we die every five seconds? Or will we actually make it to Whiterun with our goal completed? What in oblivion is and that? here is that we you? are. What do you see? Thank you, Alduin, for rescuing me yet again. First things first, gotta go to our settings and turn up the difficulty. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this. And so we just went through Helgen, nothing special here. We dodged Alduin, we made a couple of friends along the way, and then they gave us a choice. But I have no idea who to go with, but I'm just gonna go with Raylof because for old time's sake. And here we got our hands untied, we got a couple of weapons as well, and then comes our first combat encounter. I did not expect enemies to be this tanky. Look at how much damage they're taking! And with just a little bit of persistence and a lot of kiting, we finally managed to take them both down and get the key to proceed to the next area. And so after a couple of minutes of kiting, we finally managed to kill the Imperial Soldier and his friend. Uh, then we looted the room that they were in for the starter potions that you usually get. You won't leave alive. Never what I failed to realize was how much XP we'd be getting because we are always in combat and we are always leveling skills up. We already leveled up and we aren't even out of the Sorial Dungeon. There's a secret that not a lot of people know about Skyrim. You can go down here actually after the bridge falls. There's some loot. Not that much, but I mean, something. And here we encounter the first enemy that's not human, spiders. Which I figured out they burn extremely easily. Hold up. There's some bear just ahead. See her. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. She's trying to sneak by. So we snuck by the bear, all stealthy and like, almost got caught, and finally. Thank you, Alduin, for putting me into this horrible, horrible world. And while enjoying my walk and listening to Raylov talk about his Stormcloak Rebellion, there it was, in the background. Bleak Falls Barrow. Our goal. And then on my way down the hill, I noticed the Standing Stone, so I get the Warrior Stone because we're already leveling up our skills quickly. And then I went fishing, because that's the most important thing in Skyrim. And I also got a really sick weapon, which is a fishing rod. And in Riverwood, we went and got the Golden Claw quest, bought some items, and also a new weapon, because damage is very important here. Ray, what's going on? We robbed Gerda of all her items, and then we ended up looking at some plants for a couple of minutes. And after that, we went across the bridge over to Bleak Falls Barrow. We encountered a wolf, and so we made a relatively easy work of it with the fishing rod. <laughs> And on our way up the mountain, we discovered our first bandit camp, and so we proceeded to clear it, and we made short work of that. 
We leveled up one more time and I went for a little bit more melee damage. Tried using a bow, but we dealt absolutely no damage. So I just went back to smacking people with my mace. And we finally made it to Bleak Falls Barrow. Let me see if I can get the stealth damage on them. Maybe I should put a poison on my bow. Can I do that? Ah, uh, perfect. Alright. How much extra damage do we do? Absolutely nothing. And I figured that it was a better idea to just use my fists instead of using my head. And so we witness the smartest bandit in Skyrim pull the lever yet again. And so I put my one brain cell to the test and finished the puzzle, and then we met a brand new enemy. It didn't last long. No, oh no, I'm not looking forward to this one. Now, this fight wasn't really hard per se, it was more annoying, because I really had to kite it back and forward with my bow. We ended up getting a level and I got Bone Breaker for my maze. Got a little bit carried away and died for the first time in this run. And a second time. Maze really wasn't cutting on the spider, so I ended up swapping back to my bow because it was a lot easier to use and honestly it was a lot safer as well. Here I got a little bit too confident thinking that I could kill it, but it spat on me and it killed me. We finally killed it, and then I exerted my rage on it. You know, Help me. how am I gonna deal with you now? You. Do I have Go to kill on, you now? <laughs> you fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? I think he dies, right? Go loot here for a bit. He did end up dying, but then I came across a new problem. Fighting an enemy one-on-one -on -one is already hard enough, so then I had to use my environment to deal with multiple draugers at once. Uh, it one-shots them. Right, good. Okay, let's just make your way through here. And that was easy. And then slowly but surely, I felt like I was understanding legendary difficulty more and more. I became smarter, stronger, better. I was leveling up almost instantaneously, so I went for heavy armor perks to help me defend myself better. Now this might be a bit of a challenge. And a challenge it was. I ended up having to kite him for a really long while, but at the end of the day, it kinda worked out. Of course, there were some times where I would mess up and end up dying. So I tried the same strategy I used on the spider, I whittled him down, and then I went in for the kill and celebrated afterwards. And finally, we reached the Golden Claw door, and we managed to open it by solving the puzzle. Then we showed the door who's boss. And now, ahead of us, lies our biggest challenge. The end of Bleak Falls Barrow and one final Draugr to kill. Here I found a chest with an orcish greatsword and so I remembered my ancestors and I thought about the power of the sword. Or did it just suck? It did no damage. But I stayed fighting and I honored the orcs. I used my weapon till the death. Then I switched back to the mace so I could use the shield that I found that blocks 20% of damage. Clearly it's great, isn't it? But I leveled up so I got fighting stand so I used less stamina when I power attack. Then I started healing myself because who needs power attacks when you can live longer? And then I started power attacking again. There he was, almost dead, on his knees and I deliver the killing blow. And there he is, defeated on the ground.
our goal has been achieved. We have the Dragonstone, and now we can make our way outside of Bleak Falls Barrow. And there he was. Beautiful morning in Riverwood. Our hero, proud of what he's done, returning the Golden Claw to its owners. This just leaves us with one more task. Returning the Dragonstone to Dragon's Reach in Whiterun. The road to Whiterun suddenly seemed less dangerous. The wolves weren't even a threat anymore, we just took care of them instantly. The weather was beautiful, and the sights were gorgeous. Until a slight overcast appeared above us. Could that be a sign that we have one more battle to come? A battle that was far harder than anything that we've ever came across? And it was true, a giant was plaguing the farms of Whiterun. And so, with everything that we've learned, we tried to repel this giant away from the farms. And successfully, we killed the giant, single-handedly, and got praised by the goth mommy of her dreams. You, look strong. you handle yourself well. And here we are, the final stretch. The sign that says Whiterun so clearly pointing us to the right direction. One last hill climb. You know what? Looking at it now, I just realized I have scrolls to use. Would have been really useful in the last fight. Ignoring that, we persuaded the guard to let us in, and then inside the town was a beautiful, sunny day. The villagers just enjoying their lives. Everyone just happily passing by. It was peaceful, almost a break from the hardships of legendary difficulty. And our goal in sight, we rush up the stairs, into Dragon's Reach, and make ourselves known to the Jarl. We inform him of the dragon attack on Helgen, and then he takes us to Faringar to find the Dragon Stone, which we already have. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. 